Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Diary of a Pug. Pug blasts off chapter eight. This is the final chapter of this book. Chapter eight. Good luck, Pug. Friday. Dear Diary, I was so nervous this morning and oops, sometimes things uh, happen when I'm nervous. Ew, yuck. Poor puppy. Don't worry. Let's get dressed. What should we wear? Fashion, the perfect thing to take my mind off my nerves. We found just the right outfits, then headed to school. I made sure nothing was left behind. Don't forget this. What would I do without you, Bob? Duchess dashed out of the house before we left and handed me the bell from her collar. It's my good luck charm. You can borrow it today. Wow, thanks, Duchess. It's not a big deal. Don't get all mushy. I can't believe I'm saying this, diary. But maybe... Duchess isn't that bad. We set up the machine in Bella's school gym. There were so many other cool projects. I got nervous all over again. Oh, Bubby, are you feeling sick again? It's okay. You are going to do great. Sorry. Oops. Sorry again. Before long, it was time for our big moment. Would the machine work at school just like it did at home? I pulled on the rope. And it worked! Yippee! I forgot about my nerves. Everything went perfectly. Phew. Can you believe it, Diary? We won Best Pet Invention! I couldn't have done it without you, Bob. We make a great team. Back at home, Bella had another surprise for me. Now we can even go for walks in the rain. I am the luckiest pug on the planet and the <clears throat> cutest. My new raincoat is super Super awesome diary. And Bella is too. End of Diary of a Pug. Pug blasts off. Thank you for reading along with me and listening to this wonderful story. And we'll see you back here very, very soon for more wonderful stories. Bye-bye.